Hello everyone. Welcome to today's tutorial on Python. In today's tutorial, we are going to have the introduction to this very interesting language. We know that in current market, we have various languages such as .NET, Java, C, C++, JavaScript, and there are so many. Python is one of such kind of language which is used for development of the applications. So what this language is, what are its features and how it works, these are the things we are going to see in today's tutorial. In upcoming sessions, we are going to learn how to use Python language, what are the softwares we need to install, and also how to start coding. Those are the things we'll learn in upcoming sessions. So let's have introduction to Python. What is Python? Python is developed around 1991 as a programming language. Of course, there was a research happened before actually doing the programming for Python, but it was not that extensive in earlier time. It is officially got recognition in 1991. Python is a high level programming language and it is written in the language C. So that is good need to know, uh, good news to know that if you know the C language, it will be easy to understand the Python. But it is not mandatory because this is a th it. The Python is written on top of the C language or with the help of C language. So it's a uh, good to have knowledge about the C language, but it's not mandatory. Python supports quite wide range of programming paradigm. It supports object oriented. It supports imperative. It also supports functional and procedural programming as well. As like Java, which is a object oriented language, Python is equally strong as like Java. Java works on the compiling model. However, Python works on the interpreter model. The interpreter, interpreter of Python, it looks at the executable statement and it execute by step by step. So if you have the 10 statements written in the program, very first statement will be executed at first and then subsequently the next executable statements will be executed. So it's a mandatory to have the sequence as per you the business logic implemented in the programming of Python. So this is just brief view about Python. It is only thing we need to remember is it's a high level programming language and it works on the interpreter basis. What are the features of Python? There are several features which are very interesting. It's very easy to learn. If you don't know any other language and you want to learn any language, I would recommend it is a Python because it is so easy to learn and easy to write as well. If someone wrote the program, if someone wrote the Python program, you can easily read as well. So there is no extensive knowledge required to understand, learn and write this Python programming. So I would recommend if you are new to any language technology language python is good for you it's object oriented so if you are defining any complex data type or the real time entity for example person airplane house etc we can program on those object because python is object oriented object has two things one is attributes and the second is behavior so we can write those object in terms of behavior and in terms of its attribute. Python can be written on multiple platform. It's a cross-platform language. It's very much portable on Windows, Unix or any other platform also. It is expressive so you can easily understand and read the program because the syntax is the design such a way that a normal developer, a normal a technology person can easily understand the written code. It's an interpreted. 
that means program is executed step by step we no need to pre-compile the code for execution the execution happens at the runtime python not just used for scripting programming if you want to design any gui model like user interface you can use the python also but in the current market it is more the python is more popular about the scripting feature it has the advantage of the gui feature in case if you need really need gui for your program last but not least it is a free and it is a open source so it is developed by the community and maintained so we don't have to worry for the it's a licensing cost etc so you can get easily from the internet and you can install in very quick steps which you can see in my upcoming tutorial also how to install python in your system so these are the features about the python so let's understand this interpret and compile thing if you if you know the java language java language works in the compiling format what does it mean so we have to write a code in java for example abc.java then we have the java compiler which compiles this code and convert the dot java file into the dot class file this dot class file is also called as a bytecode file because this code the, the the java source code is converted into the bytecode the bytecode is not nothing nothing but the machine understandable code so machine understand the bytecode like 0101 those are the bytecodes so machine understand the bytecode and not the actual source code hence we need to convert the java code into the bytecode using the compiler and once byte bytecode is ready that is dot class file is ready we can execute on the virtual machine that is java virtual machine and we'll get the output so here if you notice between your source code and the actual execution a compiler comes into the picture which convert the source code from dot java to dot class and that is required and this is process of compiling so in java technology compiling is required before execution another thing to remember here is whole the not just single statement is ex uh, compiled the whole dot java file itself is compiled and then it's executed so there is a, some time required to compile that file before execution so compiling take might might take some time in several cases what is the case with python python is not compiling case it is interpreter case interpreter means whenever you fire a command it is immediately executed so if you have the 10 st executable statement those 10 statement immediately executed step by step, one by one in the python case for example if you have the hello world dot py that is py stand for python it is extension for python file this hello world dot py python file will be executed immediately and output will be written and this execution happens through interpreter because there should be someone required to interpret what code is and that is nothing but the interpreter in case of python and the code is executed this is the structure python is very simple and a very uh, robust technology i would say in in case of the programming now so if you are going to learn what topics you have to learn in the python there are several topics involved such as variables expressions and statements data types structures functions object oriented programming using database and some advanced topic of course there are some gr related topics also there but these are the basic topics you need to learn as a part as a part of python of course you can learn the variables and expression those are very simple expressions such as plus minus sign etc the operators those kind of things you will learn under this variable expression and statements there will be data types you need to understand for example string integer and boolean which can you learn under data type section 
structures are helpful because there uh, these are the components where the data is stored during your python program execution and structures involves lists tuples and dictionaries of course there we need to create a reusable code which can be used across the multiple files and those are nothing but the functions creating complex data type and they use the object oriented concepts is come uh, that comes under the object oriented programming for python there are several instances where you need to connect to the persistent store that is the database like oracle database or sql server etc how to connect to the database how to fetch or update or insert the records in the database that will come under the database section there are some advanced topics such as network programming and using the web services that you can also learn in the advanced topic apart from that there is a topic called a gui you can develop the gui interface that is the interface user can see it has a look and feel so these are the to basic topics you need to learn as a part of learning python okay so you got the list what to learn but what are the things you need of course we need the basic things that is nothing but your computer you you, you should have that it's a good laptop then once you have this system ready you need to have few softwares majorly two softwares required that is python software it's a python library you can just download how can we download you can use the website the website is nothing but www.python.org and from here you can download the python which we learned how to go here how to download how to install all the steps in the upcoming tutorial so this is the website for python to install and the next thing is PyCharm. PyCharm is another software. It's uh, called as a, a development tool which can be used to develop the Python programming. Apart from it, it is good to have the text editor either Notepad++ or Edit Plus for better editing. It, it's additional, it's optional, it's not mandatory. But basically you should have the Python software and PyCharm. Okay, so you got the software. Do I need anything else? Yes, it's good to have the knowledge about the uh, if you have the basic idea about the programming language, how it works. If you have the business logic, like if you already experienced some other technology and you are learning the uh, the Python, if you have the business logic, it is well and good. It is going to help full while writing the business logic. Good to have the analytical skill. Uh, because while writing the program you need, you need to have how to write the code because the code is logical writing is totally different than the technology so you should have some analytical skill and of course it's good to have idea about the object oriented programming which will help you to write the various components of the python using oops concept okay where can i download what are the softwares I need to download? So there are two softwares as I mentioned. One is Python and other is PyCharm. How to download? I will show you shortly. So in order to download the Py Python, you can go to the www.python.org or and you can download from the download section. For PyCharm, you can go to the www.jetbrains.com and you'll see the downloadable PyCharm. So you select your operating system and download appropriate uh, PyCharm which is the development tool how it how the tool looks so tool looks very simple let me show you so this is the PyCharm tool which will have various sections and this is the 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 Python code wh whatever you can see in the screen so the file name is password.py and it has some code which we'll learn in our upcoming session so you don't have to worry for that but this is the look and feel about the PyCharm tool I hope uh, you got some idea about the Python and you, you must be ready for learn some more interesting things about the Python. So keep watching this space. Do not forget to subscribe my channel. And if you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you again. Have a nice time.